Hi everybody, 860 Cologne here with another video. This time, it's the Fragrance Reviewers Tag video. This was started by the Lupe Experience, and I got tagged recently by Brad BP Wool. And here are some of my answers. These are basically just questions that Lupe asked to try to get to know the reviewers better and to know more about us and how we perceive things and what our background is. So, here we go. Number one. What are your earliest fragrance memories? One that I always think of uh, in the summer is the smell of copper tone tanning oils. These were really popular in the late 70s and 80s, and I like the smell so much I used to open up the bottles and smell them throughout the year. I think it's why I love Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess so much. Another fragrance-related memory I have is from sixth grade. I wanted to give my teacher a present for Christmas, but I didn't have any money. So I had a bottle of English leather, and I had used it. It was a splash bottle. And so I figured, well, I'll just put some water in there and give it to him. That's when I found out that when you add water to a fragrance, it clouds everything up like crazy. So. In the end, I didn't have a present for my teacher, and I basically had an unusable bottle of cologne, so I think I ended up throwing it away. Question two. What was your first fragrance purchase? Now, I'm not exactly sure of this, but I'm thinking it might have been like preferred stock or something like that from a drugstore. I was also one of those kids that would go to the uh, cologne counter at the mall and buy those mini bottle coffrets with about four or five splash bottles inside and I recently found one of those. It's a Polo Green, the original Polo Cologne. It actually smells a lot better than I thought it would because the new stuff nowadays has been changed. I might have a pre-formulated little bottle of that, but uh, those would probably be my first purchases that I can remember making way back in the day, probably when I was a teenager. Number three, what was your first niche purchase? Millesime Imperial. It was in the early 2000s when I was at a gig in uh, Alabama, I think. And I'm pretty much it was a one ounce bottle that I paid 90 bucks for at the time. Number four, what was your first blind buy? This one I can't quite remember either. Um, I would try to get all the latest Yopes that came out during, you know, like the flankers and stuff like that. They come out in Europe first, so I know that when I was living in Florida, I had a lot of friends that were performing overseas or just going over there. So I would like give them money and say, go get this new Yope fragrance for me. Because Yope has really got what we got me, got me into fragrances to begin with. So I always had those. Some of those worked out well, sometimes they didn't. Number five, what was your best blind buy? I'm going to have to say Tahitian Waters by English Laundry, mainly because there wasn't much thought to it. I walked into Dillard's on their New Year's Day half-off sale, where most of their sets are half-off and some of their regular bottles are half-off as well, and I saw this fragrance. I never heard of the Tahitian Waters version, but I just picked it up paid for it and boom I was done out of there in like three minutes and I really was pleased with the fragrance because it's a, it's a nice fragrance and I'll be using it a lot in the summer as you probably have heard me say before. Another good blind buy I was in TJ Maxx and found one last bottle of uh, uh, L'Odyssee Blue and there was no price tag on it and so I knew it went for like you know, somewhere in the 20s or so. Found out later it actually went for $34.99, usually at TJ Maxx, and the lady gave it to me for $12.99. So it's a decent fragrance, but for 13 bucks, it's a great fragrance, so I like that one a lot. Number six, what was your worst blind buy? I'm gonna get some hate for this, but for me, it's Encre Noir. I've talked about it before, and I respect it for being a very well-made, good fragrance, but this particular type of vetiver does not work well for my nose or even my stomach sometimes. It grew on me after a while, but I knew I would never wear it, and so I found a good home for it to be in. 
Number seven, what are your favorite fragrance notes? I love incense, myrrh, amber, oak moss, ambergris, and smoke. In general, I like deep, darker scents. Number eight, what is your favorite fragrance house? This is a tough one for me to answer nowadays, but my main answer for this a while back was Serge Lutin. I remember being in Aedes de Venustas in New York and smelling almost all of the offerings that Christopher Sheldrake made and loving practically every one of them. The only reason that I hesitate to declare that my favorite is because I don't own many of the full bottles, but I do need to get some. On the designer side for men, I would probably say Prada fragrance have impressed me a lot. And I have basically liked every single one of Daniela Andrié's creations, and they consistently perform well for me. Even though her signature vibe seems to be a clean and powdery scent, the fragrances do differ greatly. Number nine, what fragrance best describes you? This was another hard one, and so I opened up my cologne cabinet and saw this fragrance and decided that probably does fit me, and it's Azaro por Om Nighttime, since I am an extreme night owl. I am basically nocturnal and don't go to bed till like 7 a.m. usually, so if you see me posting on YouTube or on Facebook at the break of dawn, you might think, oh, he's a, such a morning person. Hell no. I usually see the sunrise every day before I go to bed. Number 10. What is your favorite fragrance? I don't really have a stock answer for this any, anymore. It's kind of like asking me who my favorite composer is or what my favorite opera is. It changes daily or weekly depending on my mood. Originally, my answer was Yop Om, but that generally changed into Ambra Sultan by Serge Lutin, and it's definitely in my top five. Both of those are probably uh, in my top five, and I still love them. But it, it was the first bottle, the Amber Sultan was the first bottle I actually ran out of and had to replenish. But I've been s introduced to so many that it'd be difficult to narrow it down to one. Another that comes to mind right now is Dior Eau Sauvage Parfum, since it's usually the fragrance that I reach for for uh, opening night party for one of the shows that I'm in. And I tend to pause for a second after I spray it because it smells so damn good to me. Number 11. What is your fragrance profile? Deep, dark, bold, spicy, unique, in-your-face fragrances. If I'm wearing something and you're near me, I want you to know it. Within reason. I don't want to be the cologne guy who leaves vapor trails wherever he goes, but it's not my clothes that I want you to remember me by, or my shoes, or anything like that. It's my fragrance that I want you to remember me by. I have a say saying that goes, Cologne is the only thing of fashion that fits me. And it's true. I'm a big guy. And not quite as big as I used to be, but even shoes are hard to find that really work for me, and clothes are difficult for me to, to be fashionable. So, fragrance is the bulk of my game. Number 12. What are your fragrance resolutions going forward? Quality versus quantity. I think I'm over the phase of uh, buying a whole bunch of cheap stuff just to have it. I think most of us go through that, and I think it's an important part of this hobby slash obsession. If I would have started out with only niche and high-end stuff, I don't think I would be able to appreciate and understand fragrances as much as I hope to at this point. I also want to make, you know, more frequent uh, videos and try not to do videos during tornado warnings. It's so humid right now and the sirens going off. I'm not sure you can, if you can hear that, but uh, let's try not to, to do that again. I've got a few more things, uh, collaborations with other reviewers and a few companies, so hopefully those will come to fruition sometime very soon. Now it's time for the people that I'm going to tag. I've got two of them. One is going to be Max Forty. He uh, is a person that I've done a few trades with and swaps and sells and stuff like that, and he's getting into reviews as well. And another one is a good friend of mine, uh, Ularwolf. 
I, he's a good friend of mine, and I don't really know how to say his name, but I'll put links for both of those down there, and you can check out his stuff. He's kind of new to the game, so you might not know him, but uh, definitely check him out. All right? Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.